Megan Blevins, for those who don't know me, I think I know all of you. I am the Director of Specialized Initiatives at the Olivet Boys and Girls Club. Um, I want to thank you all for being here and supporting the students as we celebrate our 2011 mural. Um, I would like to introduce Ms. Sheila Miller. She is um, from the Berks County Agricultural Center and Sheila actually helped us get this mural in motion. As you can probably see, there is a mural on the other side that was painted by Mr. Ed Terrell. Um, and then Sheila came to us because she wanted to um, captivate the space in here for the farmer's market. So I'm gonna let her speak about that a little bit more, but I'd like to welcome Ms. Sheila Miller. Well, it's a pleasure for me to be here this evening, and I want to start by thanking all of you who participated in this project. I love the mural, and every Friday when we have the market here between the month of June and October, uh, actually upon its completion, I had the great pleasure of being able to look at this every Friday and just enjoy the great beauty that you all put here on what was previously a very boring, very uh, empty wall space in the city of Reading. I think that this mural that you all created captures a lot of the dynam dynamics of the city of Reading and its connection to agriculture, which is my part in being here this afternoon. I have helped to get started a farmer's market right here in the city of Reading. And thanks to Mayor Tom McMahon and Reading City Council and the Redevelopment Authority, we have been having this market here in the 800 block outside for the past two years. Um, as Megan said, we did have Ed Terrell create a mural on the Penn Street side, but that didn't finish our project. Uh, there was always something missing, and that missing portion was this side of the mural as you're walking into the Reading Health Dispensary. I wanted people who, even when the market is closed between the month of October and June, to be able to see something that brightens their day, and this certainly does it. Uh, butterflies, sunflowers, uh, bubbles that depict uh, the world and uh, the visions that all of us can have here in Reading and in Berks County for our future. So I think uh, in the abstract, this is something that sends a very positive message for all of us to dream, to have great thoughts that are going to flow out to everyone and to touch everybody with the wonderful sense of being part of not only the city of Reading, but the, all of Berks County and its agricultural industry. So I'm looking forward to continuing to support the Penn Street Market. My thanks again to Megan Blevins and everyone at Olivet Boys and Girls Club, uh, the artists who created this, uh, whether it's the design by Jessica and all, or whether it is uh, the students and the young people who actually lend their talents to the paintbrushes. I never dreamed that this was going to look quite as beautiful as it did with all of the amateurs, including myself, who picked up a paintbrush and probably dabbled a little bit more than I should have. But again, um, my congratulations to all of you for a job well done. So, Megan, shall I turn it over to the next speaker? Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Thank you very much. Hello? Okay, uh, I am Chris Palmer. I am the coordinator for the Mentoring and Arts program. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of coming in right towards the end when we actually started putting the final product together. And I got to help, and I was an amateur, just like Sheila said, trying to paint and I had a really good time trying to help out, even though we had some weather conditions that hampered, uh, hampered our success and our progress. But by the time the weather changed, we were able to make the great product that we have now. Uh, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to give a brief overview of what we do here with the Mentoring and Arts program. And uh, it was created uh, around uh, 1998. 
and it was an alternative form of community service with the intentions of giving some opportunity to youth to do something different than the normal probationary uh, system. With that being said, the students themselves attend uh, group sessions, usually once or twice a week. They're involved with mentor meetings, and they do community service such as uh, painting murals and other activities. It's more or less like an art component along with the mentoring component. And in turn, what we try to do over a five to six week period is we involve a lot of different type of artistic skills. Everything from culinary, like making food, to dance, like Latin dance, as well as, you know, painting, multimedia type of projects. Once again, like murals. Uh, but overall, the students themselves are active and that active learning hopefully gets them and points them in the right direction. Uh, without further ado though, I'd like to introduce the, uh, the artist that helped finalize the mural. Actually, there was two artists, but the artist that's going to be speaking is uh, Mrs. Jessica Alexander, and I'd like to introduce her now. So, thank you. again to celebrate this wonderful event, um, the mural. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the concept of the mural and how it came into fruition. No one person can take credit for what you see here because there were so many artists involved in the process. Just as the farmer's market brings the locally grown foods from our countryside into the city, our mural too brings some of that countryside. No matter where we are from or where we are living now, we are ultimately after the same thing, life, love, happiness, stability, sustainability. It's important for us to think about where our consumer goods are coming from and how wonderful to know they can be locally grown right here in Berks County. Part of our community, and yes, the farmers of Berks County are part of that community, and that they supply us with nourishment and wholesome foods as we support them with what they need to care for their families, just as we care for ours. This mural is made to represent and glorify the community that is made through the farmer's market. Not only in the design concept, but also in the mural making process. There is a quote from Real World Readings in Art Education that states, from the time humans stepped foot on the earth, they have changed their environment for practical reasons, for aesthetic reasons, to establish ownership, and to celebrate their own existence. These student artists of Olivet Boys and Girls Club, Mentoring in the Arts, are from different places in the world, in different places in their lives, but found a way to leave all of that behind, work together, make decisions, change their environment, and really take ownership of this positive event that will shine in the history of their community. Together they discussed what is so important in their community, how the farmer's market provides for their community, and the images that best complement those ideas. And here is the mural to show it. I hope this experience is one they will take with them forever, seeing what amazing things can be achieved when working together towards a common goal with common aspirations is undoubtedly inspiring. Thank you. All right, um, I'm Jessica Chadwick. I came in for the beginning part of the mural, um, helped the kids with bringing their concepts together. We talked about Philadelphia's mural projects and some of the mural projects that have been done here in Reading. And the kids pulled ideas together that they had, um, the bubbles, the, the children playing, the cityscape, a lot of this is their contribution, their designs, and we spent about three weeks, four weeks working on that process. And then um, I had to step back for a little bit, so the other Jessica came in, um, so we kind of partnered. I had the first half of the project, she had the second half of the project, so she can tell you about how it went from there, because uh, she was the one for the main pa painting element. It's okay. Um, okay, I'm Jessica Alexander. Um, I began the project as a consultant. Um, I've been working with Olivet Boys and Girls Club for five years now and um, stepped in when times were tough <laughs> and um, it went phenomenally. Um, everything was set up so well beforehand that um, it was just smooth sailing from there on out. The kids were wonderful um, in helping to make this process happen. Um, the painting days, we had so many community members coming out to help us along with the children to paint um, and it just went 
so much better than I could have imagined. <laughs> um, and here we are with a beautiful mural. Thank you and goodbye.